We're joined here on Media Monday by men's pole vaulter John Delahanty, coming off a successful, I'd say, first meet of the season at the Brown Invitational uh, down there in Rhode Island. Uh, thank you for joining us today. No problem. All right, so you know you ha- you have a lot of your teammates. They run cross country in the fall, so they're they're training, they're practicing with the team all year. Right. So what have you been doing this whole semester since you got here on campus in late August to get ready for this season? Um, a lot of general conditioning. We did a lot of uh, circuit work with uh, dumbbells and stuff. Um, a lot of uh, core workout in the morning, especially we're out on Chesterfield early in the morning doing core circuits. Um, we did a few uh, hard uh, mid-distance workouts, such as like repeat twos, threes, and once a repeat 400. And uh, besides that, we do Olympic lifts and stuff like that in the gym. Now, uh, Co- Coach Emerson was telling us just last week that he focuses a lot on the cross-country runners during the season, so he credited his assistance on um, you know, getting you guys ready. What can you say about all those you know, assistant coaches and secondary coaches who prepare you to just come in and be successful right away? Um, we, I feel like we have some of the best coaches on campus. Um, Coach Stells, who runs our team, uh, he just always on top of everything comes in and know, always knows what he's doing especially last year when he jumped in halfway through the season he came and he brought us together and he made us a lot better than we really could have been um coach sear the throwing coach um she's awesome she focused on each individual athlete even though there's a lot of us like i just started throwing javelin last year and she got me to place ninth at the conference meet uh coach Descano, he's just a funny guy he everyone enjoys him uh he's really um important to each one of us who are his jumpers we really connect with him and he really helps out a lot um now you mentioned like javelin something you started throwing last year uh just getting into things at franklin's how'd you get into pole vault originally um when i was in high school uh i played football and i kept coming into the season like my freshman sophomore year like out of shape so i was like i'll join track to get in shape and they just started the pole vault program and my coach didn't know what i'd be good at so he threw me in that and I kind of just took it upon myself to get better because I really enjoyed it because it was something that I could do for a majority of the year when I wasn't playing football. And I ended up being good at it. And Coach Emerson found me and came in. And I didn't have a look back since. Now, I mean, I know it's something that not a lot of people have ever gotten to do, the actual pole ball, but it's something that always, you know, looks cool on TV. I tried it just once in high school at track. and didn't go too well. Um, you know, they didn't tell me to land on my, on my back, not my feet. So right. you probably know how that ended yeah, up. I do. But, um, you know, what's it like up there in the air? Just can you, can you tell the people watching who, who don't know what it's like just up in the air? Cause it is something that does look pretty cool. It's like, it's like free falling. Like the higher you go, the longer you fall. And that's the goal. You want to just keep getting higher and higher as you get better and better. And the higher you go, the longer you fall, the more fun you have. Now, uh, is the fall a lot more fun when you don't nick that bar and you're not coming down with it? Is it a lot more fun when you realize you're past it? Yeah, like like I said, like when you're higher and you get over that bar, you have that longer feeling of success as you fall. So like, if you've ever seen like an Olympic clip, you see the guys cheering and they're like 15 feet in the air still. <laughs> and that's just, like, that's what my I strive for every day when I practice on the turf and stuff like that. Um, all right, so just going, um, looking ahead now, uh, you're going to be down at Southern Connecticut next. That's right. So, I mean, you had, a, you had a great start to the season, a great mark, 12 feet, I believe. 12-11. 12-11. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what's next? Like, do you, are you looking to improve? Or are you just looking to get that number again? Like, do you want to get better every meet? Is that normally the goal? Yeah, every meet, I'm hoping to jump one step better than I did before. And that, I think that's the goal for every athlete. You always want to improve from your last mark because being the same is just like you're sitting in place. And I'd rather just keep progressing and making my team and myself better each day. And I assume that that's a goal for, you know, every, every track across the thing. Because it's not only, you know, it's scored as a team down the line, but everybody's individual time can be kind of put together. Definitely. All right, uh, last question before I get you out of here. Uh, we ask everybody on Media Money to share a little fun fact about themselves. Okay. So uh, do you have anything for the fans in Raven um, Nation? I enjoy to dance in my free time. I like to just turn on music and just go nuts when I can to relieve my stress, especially when the finals come up and stuff like that. You know, our uh, athletic communication director, Matt Janik, enjoys to dance. Uh, maybe you should have a, little, have a little dance off sometime. I would enjoy that. <laughs> All right. So dance off coming possibly on Media Monday. Thank you for joining us, John. Anytime. Um, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much.